If all of my care team was right here in this room right now, I would say to them, you guys are awesome. I love you from the bottom of my heart that you care for me the way you do. With all my heart and all my love, you guys are really awesome. So Philadelphia is the poorest of the 10 largest cities in the United States. Um, and over 12% of our population are in deep poverty, which is living at half the federal poverty level. We have about 19,000 people living with HIV in Philadelphia and a little over 3,300 who are co-infected with hepatitis C. HIV is definitely a challenge here in Philadelphia. Esperanza in general, we serve around 16,000 patients. There are subpopulations and sub-neighborhoods where the, the HIV rates are, are high. And the, the rates of HIV were like three or four times the national rates. We have a really strong HIV group and we have 87% viral suppression in our Ryan White care site for people who are in care. Just dealing with um, HIV itself is a lot of burden. I mean, having to take medications all the time. Um, most patients don't want to share with their family members what they're dealing with. So it's almost like they're by themselves. So they deal with all that and then having hep C on top of that, it's just like a double whammy for them. I, the hep C, I, I, I wasn't really vocal about that. That was, that was a personal journey. And, you know, and the only person knew was me and God and my mother, <laughs> you know. I, I was diagnosed in uh, 1987. And here I am today, you know, uh, non-detectable, uh, cure to hep C, Sky's the limit. <laughs> About 36% of people had been cured back at the beginning of this project, and now I think we're up at 59% of um, people who are RNA positive have been cured. Ryan White has really been a safety net, particularly for patients who are uninsured or underinsured. We definitely could not provide all of the services that we provide for our HIV patients without their support. The Ryan White funding has been critical um, to the success of hep C integration, not just at a clinical site level, but at a health department level. We envision this program as starting off with data and evaluation, um, capacity building and technical assistance, um, uh, linkage to care, and service integration. We started off by really working to match our viral hepatitis program data with our HIV surveillance data. Another important source of data is our Ryan White program data, which we use CareWare um, for that. Our data component of our project is really exciting because it's not something a lot of other jurisdictions have. We're able to match our hepatitis data with our HIV data so we can actually see a hepatitis C continuum. I also love the training and capacity building component because it just really builds off of a lot of the great relationships that exist. We have uh, intensive clinical training, which is called the preceptor program, where a clinician spends two days didactic and one day in a clinic with about 1,800 positive HIV men and women. That connects them up to an expert that they can then consult with. And then we offer on-site consultation, or you can call us up for consultation, um, or we can come on-site and do a program for you. So it's a variety of on-site consultation, technical assistance, and preceptor. One of the things that they told us was start slow. Take your time with the patients that you have. That really makes a difference rather than just trying to have a big number and trying to do everything all at once. I think one by one, little by little, you will get there. And even the people that I've encountered in HIV, when we, go, when we meet at Ryan White meetings or things like that, I think that's one of the things that I also really love about HIV care, about Ryan White, is that people care. People are in HIV because they love what they do and they really want to reach out to patients. And so I just say thank you and keep doing the good job that you're doing. <laughs>